Luke 15.32 The parable of the prodigal and his brother. Then Jesus said, the son gathered all he had and travelled to a distant country. And there he squandered his property in dissolute living. And when he had spent everything, a severe famine took place throughout the country. And he began to be in need. There was a shattering explosion. When the dust settled, there were the dead, the dying and the injured. Get your chair. 
What's your all day like? I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Really? Really. It's bacon, egg, beans, tomato, sausage, mushroom and a fried slice. Any combination you want. Uh -huh. And does that combination include you? Side orders are extra. The way I see it might be worth it. I'm not negotiable, I'm afraid. Stitched on boyfriend, you don't take kindly to people wanting to move in on his territory. Pity. Guess I'll just have to be the all day extravaganza and uh, copy while I wait. Would have been nice to have had a bit of sauce with it, though. Hello, hi. What are you doing here? I thought I'd pop in to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. You know how it is. I'm here five days a week. It's the weekends. What well, Tony likes to spend the time with him. Well, we could always do something with the three of us together. I like that, but... Oh, I don't know what it is. Tony. He prefers to do things alone. He's lovely, but... very social. Listen, why don't you just take a seat over here? There's only the guy at the other table in at the moment. I'll get him sorted and then we can have a catch up. There's some really good apple pie and I'll do you a hot chocolate. How can I turn that down? And if you want any help getting the guy there sorted. Annie, you don't get any better. Is he a regular? I've seen him a few times. So, what do you know about him? Not much really. Even though he's been in here quite a lot lately, he's not much of a talker. At least, not what you get through the cheeky chat up. I think he's Irish. Well, while you're up there doing your stuff, I might just have to check him out. I thought you teachers were supposed to be role models for your pupils. Look, you know me. I never minded the odd spot of rolling. I won't be long. Hi. You all right? Would you mind if I joined you? It's just, it seems silly the two of us taking up separate tables. There could be a rush any moment. I doubt it, not at this time. But that's just the thing. <laughs> Just when you think you know what's going to happen, something else entirely different happens. I doubt it, but you're welcome. Thanks. So, do you come here often? <laughs> I work around the corner. There's a building development. Oh, what do you do? Painter, decorator. Not smart, but it pays. And I'm good. How about you? Teacher, English. Local. Cold down the road. Bell rings and I'm off running. Cup of tea and cake gives me the waist to brave the tube. And I know Rosie from our school days. She's done well. It's a good cafe. It is. So, how come you two stayed in touch? Don't know really. We just always hit it off and somehow it's stuck. That's good. Where are you from? Oh, you know, here and there. You sound Irish. My father was Irish. I guess I've got the twang. It's nice. How about you? London, born and bred. That's good. 
When you arrive from somewhere else, it can take time to settle in. You must have made friends, though. The building game's great, but the nature of the work is you move from site to site, get to know a guy, and he's gone. Well, maybe I could introduce you to some of my friends. <laughs> well, backwards coming and forwards. Life's too short. So, what do you think? Okay, all right. I'm game. There's a party Saturday night. Why don't you come? Are you asking me out on a date? Don't be soft fashion. If we get on, we get on. If not, there'll be loads of other people there. Okay. Give your number to Rosie. I'll be in touch. I'll see you. I thought I'll ring you. I've got lots of needs. One all day. Thanks. Hey Annie, how does this tie look? Oh, it's so wonky. Here. What? Nothing. It's just... You look beautiful. I was actually just looking at this photo here. Oh, wow. Yeah, see. There are my parents, and here are my two sisters, the ice creams, and there's a friend of ours. Yeah, we used to take weekend trips to Ireland. You look so young there. How long ago was that taken? Eight years ago. Wine and I open us a nice bottle of wine before we head out. <laughs> that would be great, although I just need to use your bathroom quickly. Okay. Thanks, Jim. You would not believe the day I've had. Hectic. You should join the building game. 
I'm knackered after a Monday. <laughs> well, I bet you don't lift as much weight as I did today. People think nursing's all uniforms and lip gloss, but one of my patients was so heavy, two nurses had to sit on the other end of the bed to steady it while we rolled him off. I don't believe you sometimes. <laughs> yeah, my back didn't believe it either. Seriously, though, how was your day? Not bad overall. We had a new girl in. She seems nice. She's Irish, like you. There's a lot of us around. I'm serving her in the National Health. Top money for little work. It's very attractive. <laughs> I can slap you. Yeah, but you won't, because you might spill your drink. <laughs> you look nice. Where are we going tonight? Tonight? Tonight. You said we'd do something. You said you'd organise it. Did I? <laughs> Black makes night out. Celebrate a whole year of slap makes, you said. Oh, you've forgotten, haven't you? Well, actually, I sort of have a... You're kidding me. Again, James? I thought we were going to do something together tonight. Well, I've made plans now. So cancel her. Hi, I'm Annie. This is Lauren, my flatmate. Oh, hi. James has told me so much about you. It's funny. He didn't mention you. Oh, Lauren, don't be like no, this. You know what? I can't believe you're prioritising some girl we've known five minutes over our plans to celebrate a whole year as flatmates. I'm sick of being cancelled for your latest fling, James. Lauren, that's not fair. Isn't it? Lauren, please. Is she always like this? No. Well, unless I have girls over. Girls? Oh no, I didn't mean it like... It's okay. Come on. Do you ever wonder why she doesn't like you bringing girls home? Come on. So, tell me about Ireland. Hi. Hey, I've made you some tea. Oh, thanks, just what I needed. Sugar? No thanks. And if you don't tell her, what's the harm in trying? And you, when I lost Harry, I learned you don't get many second chances. You've got to make every second count. You haven't told me much about him. What happened? There isn't much to tell. We were young and foolish, and we didn't stop to think that our parents' war could affect us. I guess we were wrong. So, how long have you known Jane? Not that long, but he tells me everything. <laughs> At least I think he does. So, it feels like I've known him much longer. Well, you must mean quite a lot to him then. Not many guys can reveal so much. Look, Lauren, I think you should just go for it. You never know when you might lose him. And besides, I think he likes you. <laughs> oh gosh, look at the time. I'd better go. My shift starts in 10. We'll oh, catch up later, yeah? Okay, see ya. See ya. months have been amazing and I just feel like when I'm with you 
all my other worries just disappeared. Annie, I found something I thought I lost a long time ago. I love you, Annie. Yes. Yes. I'll move in with you. Sorry, I think you have me mistaken. Why not get us some drinks? Why? Um, good idea. You've been here before, Andy. The food's great, not so much the service. A friend of mine works here, usually. Me? Hello? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just. I just. I gotta go. I wouldn't recommend the food here. <laughs> it's, it's all quite greasy and fattening. And that's just the salad. Harry? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> it's you, isn't it? Harry? Look at me! So sorry. You must have been in so much pain and I wasn't there for you. But you have to understand, I didn't have a choice. What? Eight years ago, I released some information which led to the capture of my father and his accomplices. That very information led to the bomb that was supposed to have killed me. It didn't. They got me out. Harry, you betrayed your own father. And, and not only him. Five years they spent in the H block, Harry. Five years. How could you, you couldn't understand what it was like to have a father who was more interested in his politics than his own family. Day after day, I would listen to the screams of my mother as she tried to reason with him. And all I could do was listen. Until... I'm so sorry. I never wanted it to end up this way. If I could go and... You never were any good at apologising. It's because we both share our pain. How can we can move past it? Together. Harry? It's been eight years. I can't just throw away everything I have here. A girlfriend, a job, a life. Harry doesn't exist anymore. Harry. Stop calling me that. My name is James. I just don't love you. I'm sorry. Yet another terrible apology. Go to Ireland. Leave. There's still one. 
one person who believes you exist. Don't let your mother leave this earth without seeing you one last time. Neve, I'm sorry. Just make sure one person gets a happy ending with Harry. You know, you've really grown up. I know. Megan, my little sister, I've missed you. Though it's true. You told me that Mom has dementia. Is she through here? Wait, you're going in. Of course. Do you honestly think you can just walk in there as though nothing's happened? Harry, we needed you, and you just left. You can't make up for lost time. I mean, it's been eight years. Eight long years, and after all this time, you just come back. Look, you don't understand. I can fix this. Don't tell me that I don't understand. I've been here on my own looking after our family. What do you have to say to that? You're the apple of mum's eye, Harry. Her knight in shining armour. She still talks about you all the time. You're everything to her. If you walk in there now, that everything she believed in will be shattered. Then what am I supposed to do? Mum hasn't got long left to live, and all I can do is sit out here and twiddle my thumbs? I can't do that. Not again. 
I'm going in. You've changed. A lot's happened in eight years. Yeah. And you told me about Annie. That's all history now. Hi, it's James. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Listen, Annie. I think I'm going to stay here a while. What? But, but, honey, I thought you were just going to be there for a week. How long are you going to be there for? Six months. Six months? Well, it's just that my mum's condition isn't getting any better. My family needs me more than ever. Look, I've got to go in and see her now, but we can talk... No! No. I'm sorry about your mum, James, but I don't think I can wait that long for you. Then come and stay in Ireland. You'll love it out here. The scenery's amazing and the pubs. Don't get me started on the pubs. And we could always... I can't do that, James! I have a job and a life here. I can't just throw it all away for one person. Yours is not the only story, James. Not everything can be about you. I'm sorry. Send my regards to your family. Goodbye, James. Goodbye, Annie. Hello, Mum. How are you? It's been a long time, hasn't it? I thought you were overdue for a visit, so here I am. Oh, I see they've got you eating in luxury. Oh, but you haven't had it. Yeah, let me cut it up for you. I know how much you like your corn beef. Who are you? It's Nemo. Harry. You're not my Harry. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm a friend of your son's. You know my Harry? Yes. And he told me to come and tell you that he's doing better than ever. That's a relief. Yeah. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Actually, I have a letter from your son. Would you like me to read it to you? From Harry? Of course. Dear Mum, Not a day has come past when I haven't longed to see you again. I'm writing this letter not as a way of wishing you well, but as a way of asking for your forgiveness. Eight years ago, I was responsible for bringing a plague upon this family. I betrayed Dad and the rest, and that led to the bond that tore our family apart. When the others found out my life wasn't worth living anymore, MI5 got me out using the bomber's cover and I was taken to London where I was told to start a new life. No words can ever make a 
amends for what I have done. But you should know that even when I betrayed my own father, I never stopped thinking of the good times we all shared before that all this mess began. And all I can do now is ask for your forgiveness. I've made quite a living for myself. As I write this letter now, I'm sat at the table in my flat. I've taken after my farmer and become a decorator. The job always provides work. In fact, I never find myself unemployed. <laughs> Sometimes I find it hard to get rid of work. However, not all of my time is spent working. I recently met a girl. She's smart and funny. She's perfect. I will continue to love you forever and ever. And even when our Lord takes us from this place, I will continue to love you. Your adoring son, Harry. Harry dear. Sorry, I just came to fight the food. James. Declan, it's me. I found him. When he returned home, the elder son became angry and refused to celebrate. The father spoke to him and said, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. But we had to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead and has come to life. He was lost and is found. <laughs> 